Okay, if I want to make a custom palette with a variety of uh, categories on it, all of them oil, let's say, then I would start here. I would go to, say, my uh, Painter X3 brushes, and I would click on the oils category, and I would take the first brush or the brush that I most likely would use, and holding down the Shift key, I would drag that out off there and create a custom palette. Now I would go here and say rename and I would call it oils and say okay. Maybe I, I might would say oils x3 and say okay. And then I would say view as text and it would be oils x3. Okay, so the next thing I would do is I would go to, now this is my brush libraries. This is what I was mentioned in the uh, text that I did. All right, so I would go to say Bristly Dabs because that's a library that has some other oil uh, categories in it. So I would grab say Bristly Dabs and again, I would take the first one or the one I like the best drag it over here and I would view as text and I would rename it Bristly Dabs and say okay. Then I would grab uh, buttery oils. Take the first brush or the one that I like the best, drag it over uh, rename buttery oils say OK and view as text. OK, now I would continue doing that regardless of where the category is. It doesn't really matter. So then I would go up to Window, Custom Palettes, Organizer, and I would go down to my custom 37. I need to clean these up. And I would rename that oil categories and say OK. And then done. All right, so now my custom palette is called oil categories. I can click here and I'm automatically taken to the oils category brushes. I can click here and I'm automatically taken to the categories for uh, buttery oils. I can click here and I'm automatically taken to the category for bristly dabs. Doesn't matter if they're in multiple libraries or not. This just, now you can put all of your categories together that are oils. Then you could do another one of these that has all of your watercolor categories. Okay, hope that helps. Bye.